All right, by request, this is a linear programming word problem. So we've got a calculator company, and if you want to read all this, um, it's on the wiki right above the video, so uh, we're not going to read it. Yeah, so before you actually watch this, it might be a good idea to read that so you know what the heck's going on here. So. Yeah, yeah, and maybe as you go, hit pause and try to figure a little bit out independently. That's usually a good uh, method, too. Um, but we've got uh, first to assign variables to the unknown. So we can call the number of scientific calculators produced X, the number of graphing calculators produced Y. And we'll use that to come up with our constraints. And the first one uh, we'll do is a real life constraint. So you can't have negative calculators. That's what we're talking about here. And that's any of these word problems pretty much what you're going to be dealing with. Always dealing with X is greater than zero, Y is greater than zero. Yeah. Um, okay, so here we're talking again about scientific calculators. So in the problem, we see we uh, demand at least 100 scientific. That's greater than or equal to 100 and no more than 200. In other words, the demand is somewhere in between 100 and 200. And even though it looks like that's a less than symbol with the by the 100 and the X, if you're reading it from right to left, it's 100 greater than or equal to X if you switch the order around. So... Okay. Uh, and lastly, our graphing calculator, somewhere between 80 and 170 is the demand. And we got one more thing, not quite lastly, but yeah, graphing oh, calculators yeah. are there. And um, for the shipping contract up there, it says you have to ship at least 200 total calculators. So when you add your graphing and your scientific, it needs to be at least 200. All right. And the last thing we come up with here is our objective function and that's what we're trying to uh, maximize here so we're trying to maximize profit so our objective function has to do with profit and you notice that there's a two dollar loss for each uh, scientific calculator and then a five dollar gain for each uh, graphing calculator all right so all those different inequalities they're over here on the right in the graph so you can see those different ones. We got the Y is between the 170 and the 80. The X is between the, the between the 100 and the 200. And then the total with the shipping is that maroon line there. So, all right. So now what we got to do is those five points that are created by all these lines. We got to figure out which one's going to maximize this profit. All right. So we're going to take and substitute each of those values. The first one's over here, the orange line and the green line where they intersect at 280 plug those in, you make no money. That's probably not Boo. your best interest. Yeah. Alright, the next one, 200 and 170 up there. Okay, so if you make those 200 scientific calculators, multiply that by negative 2, the 170 times the 5 gives you a profit of 450. Much better than making no money. All right. I'm still holding out for the big bucks. Yep, yep. So let's see what's next here. Alright, 100 and 170. Ooh, good choice, Mr. Reddy. Yeah. Making a little bit more money here. So plug in that 100, plug in the 170, gives you a total of 650. You guys can figure out the math there. And then down 100 and 100, that gives us 330, or $300, not 330. And the last one, 120 and 80. Alright, and that's this one right here, the maroon and the green, which may be a little bit trickier. You plug that 80 in for Y. And then you can solve that right there for the X, and it gives you 120. And the maximum, it looks like, was at one, $650 at the point 100 scientific and 170 of the graphing. So that's okay. your best bet. So Start selling. Start okay. producing calculators. Yep, but don't make 200 scientific and 80 graphing because you will be a dying company. Yep. So. Signing off. All right.